In this video, I'll be using the following products. Links are in the description. Milliput has kindly provided these products for me to use in this video. It is a company based in the UK and produces this amazing epoxy putty that can be used for virtually anything. It's easy to use and easy to sculpt. It is waterproof and sets rock solid. It also comes in many different colors. If you want to learn more about this product, be sure to visit their website. I always make sure I paint my figures with Arteza's premium acrylic paints. Honestly guys, the quality of this paint is really good. So I suggest you check the links in the description to find out more and order some for yourself. I'll be using sculpting tools, paint brushes, tons of time and lots of patience and a glass of water. Now we're all set, we can start this project. Hello everyone, this is Marco and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be transforming this Stump and Escape Tyrannosaurus Rex by Mattel for the Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous line into the buck from the Lost World. It will require some modifying and then some repainting. The modifications are quite subtle but effective. I will be applying Milliput onto the sculpt to change it a little bit, to give it thicker cheeks, to give it the iconic belly texture and some other tweaks. Unfortunately, with the added modifications, the headgear doesn't really fit anymore because the head is quite a bit thicker, but all the other features work perfectly. I think I will be putting this uh, figure, once it's modified, up for auction, so you can get it. Yeah, this one in the video could be yours, so uh, just keep checking my social media and I will put a link in the description when this is available. In theory, if you press the button there, it should escape from the restraints, but you have to press it a bit harder than that. I was trying to do this with one hand, so forgive me if I didn't manage to make it work properly. <laughs> anyway, let's start sculpting. Here is Milliput, it's a two-part epoxy putty, so you gotta mix the two parts together thoroughly until they become one solid colour. And here we go, I'm starting to apply the material onto the cheek to give it that buck look. I'll be doing the same for the eye area and I will be thickening the jaw too. Then later on I will be changing the neck a bit to give it that nice throat pouch and just tweaking the shape of the neck because this neck doesn't look too accurate. Then I'm going to add the belly texture and also some texture above the legs. There's some bigger scales that are completely missing on this sculpt so I will be adding those in too. Once all of that is done, I will be repainting it. And you will see exactly how I do that after the sculpting section. Whenever you see me using a paintbrush over the sculpt in the sculpting bit, it's just me softening the detail and using water. This time around, I will be using toothpicks to sculpt all the detail in by hand. And I'm going to try and match it with the original texture of the toy. So once painted, you won't be able to tell the difference between the newly sculpted parts and the older sculpt. I have used the Jurassic Park Trilogy style guide as reference. If you haven't got yours, you can download it for free. All the links are in the description. So without further ado, I will let you enjoy this video without me rambling. And I'll catch you at the end. Thank you very much.
so this is the final result. I think it looks alright, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I hope you enjoyed this video, feel free to try and paint yours and modify yours too, I would love to see how it comes out. If you do, you can show me in the discord or tag me on Instagram. Don't forget this figure will be up for auction soon, if it isn't already, and thanks so much for watching. I would like to give a massive thank you to all of my Patreons. Seriously guys, your support really does mean the world to me, as it helps me do what I love for you. You help me buy materials, and most of all, you give me a helping hand with improving the quality of the content of my videos. Even if it's just a small donation, every little helps.